Mario Kart Tour's third tour is the 2019 Halloween Tour. This is JC Masterpiece. Okay, we have got the Morton Cup going for the Halloween Tour. <clears throat> we will start out with Daisy Hills R. We'll take Morton and the Birthday Girl and the Peach Parasol. Fun little combo here, considering how much of a, a manly Koopa Morton seems to be, and now he's got the Birthday Girl with the Peach Parasol. Fun little combo. Okay, starting out with some problems with the touch. Pushing me in the wrong direction. Seems to be a... I don't know whether it's actually a problem with the touch or if it's a problem with me. Okay. So... Giant banana, which are kind of fun. Really like getting those as... Um, those are really fun as... What are they called? As the frenzies. Okay, so we got a single banana holding first place on this daisy track and being passed mousin and I don't know whoever the other one is okay so second lap what you'll notice if you're paying attention is that at the end of the first lap that you get points based on where you ranked on the first lap. So, getting those combos and getting the points at the end can, being in first place on the second lap, can definitely reflect on, based on how you do in the first lap. Getting, yeah, your points at the end of the race can definitely be a reflection of your points, yeah, at the end of the first lap. First place overall, Still in first, didn't get knocked back, in spite of being knocked. So, should give me the points that I need. We should be looking at five stars with this run. Okay, came in first, Mousen came in second, and I can't pronounce, obviously I can't pronounce the third. Total of 6,077 points. That's enough for five stars. And moving on to the next race. Okay, Game Boy Advance, Bowser Castle 1. We've got Morton again. We've got the Land Ship and the bob on Parasol. Not Parasol, um... Yeah, parafoil. Excuse me. Okay. Fifth from... From... Um, yeah. Fifth from pole position. Sneaking up to... Fourth place, which isn't much. Fifth, third, second. There we go. Finally got ahead of the crew before I got... Everybody got their items. So that puts me in a little bit of safer position. First place overall. Ah, I was hoping for those coins, and I messed myself up. Now I'm back into third. Staying in third. Fourth. Fourth. Sticking on Wario's tail. And get the draft before. Yep, got the draft before. You got items. So now we've got a nice little frenzy going on here. Fun little frenzy. It's not overly helpful because all it does is mess up their screens and then keep messing up their screens. But it's a frenzy, and it's worth all kinds of bonus points. So while there could definitely be, uh, definitely be better situations, it is still a good situation overall. Second place, snuck ahead of Wario. Got some nice boosts. Uh, got some nice combos going, and that is. 7,215 points. That should be easily more than enough to get a, to get five grand stars. Let's see how the ranking sits. Racer and Cali 07, 007 are behind me. 
7215 gives me five stars easily. So that is second race in the Morton Cup. Morton is actually becoming one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite Koopa kids. I didn't really, don't notice that I really had a favorite Koopa kid in the past, but the more I've been using Morton, the more I just find he's a fun character all the way around. So it's just kind of nice. Final race is the SNES Revert. Nope, this is not reverse. Okay, SNES Rainbow Road. Tall. So lots of ramps, lots of jumps, lots of all that kind of stuff. Going to take advantage of these rings or try to take advantage of the rings. Fourth place overall, getting lots of combos. That's important. Ooh. Okay, second lap with a nice frenzy to start me off, although I'm still only in third place. I was going to use the red shell, but I was close enough to first that I knew there was a good chance I wouldn't need to. Okay, so here we go. Another frenzy. Talk about starting this race off well. I'm going to have way more than enough at the end of this race. 12,137 is where I'm standing right now. Okay. 12,137 is almost twice as much as what I need for five grand stars. That is not bad at all. Okay, on to the final challenge, Smash Small Dry Bones. I really am not a fan of these Smash Dry Bones challenges. Okay. I, with this, I have changed my control type to um, direct control instead of the sliding control, instead of the, the drift controls. Because you get a whole lot better control. Drift is great if you're trying to get those drifts, trying to get those bonuses. But if you're trying to get precision driving in, you just can't do it properly with with the um, drift controls really easily to accidentally slide around it, an enemy rather than actually hitting them. So temporarily change it to this and then I'll change it back when I'm done. Don't want the ramp because I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on crushing dry, bow dry bones. I'm at 14, 15... That should be enough for three grand stars. Let's see if that does the trick. Yep, 16 total. Um, well, 16 total, I expect it probably will be. Yep, out of 12. Made a big difference. Whenever I try to do these kinds of things with on the drift controls, so many problems. So this is JC Masterpiece playing Morton Cup on Mario Kart Tour Halloween Tour 2019. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.